Hello viewer, welcome to my first vlog of Ruby Quest Undertow. In this video, I'm just going to cover some very basic movement systems that GiveMaker has created. And here we go. First of all, if you'll notice, there are some clones on the left. They're just doing some battle stances, it's only a test, but I'll be covering that in the next video. In this video, we're going to cover walking. Not just walking. If you'll see, Ruby does go through some idle animations when she's standing still. When she's not breathing, her eyes blink at random intervals. So I found that pretty neat. I didn't expect them to go that far, but it's very nice. So with that over with, as you can see, Ruby walks pretty slowly. We feel that this is good to reinforce the pacing of the game. You can run, of course, and as you can see on the top left, there is a number that decreases whenever you're running. Of course, when it goes to zero, you are going to tire out. Poor Ruby is out of shape. So yes. It will not decrease that fast in the final version, I guarantee you, because you will probably want to be running most of the time. I doubt you want to walk everywhere, but... There you have it. When she does restore her stamina, it replenishes um, halfway. There you go. Like I said, running is the one thing that will decrease your stamina the least. When you're swinging your weapons and stuff, that's the stuff that'll kill you. <laughs> but running, you still have to watch out a bit, you know? Because if you're running in combination with swinging at enemies, that will probably screw you over. Another thing I want to touch upon is you can walk diagonally. This is mandatory to me for the isometric style that we have here. <laughs> so, there is diagonal movement. And, let's see. Another thing I want to cover, I think this is the last thing, is this. Oh, you can run into walls. We still haven't got to identifying certain terrain that she could collide with, but there is that for now. I don't think I've covered this already, and you guys might have noticed, but the camera moves around depending on which direction you're facing. So that is another thing. She's so clumsy. But I think that is it for this video. It's pretty much where we're at right now in terms of custom scripts. I'm still working on graphics. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. I'll provide a link below for the Ruby Quest Undertow page. This game is free, so if you do want to follow it, there's the link down there. If you want to ask questions, just comment below or send me a message through my Tumblr, which you can find below as well. See you in the next vlog.